Earlier today, President Biden was in Charleston today to visit Mother Emanuel AME Church, where nine people were shot and killed back on June 2015 because of the color of their skin. They were gathered there for Bible study. This is part of his campaign to revisit some dark times in American history and learn from where we went so we don't revisit the past. On June 17, 2015, the beautiful souls, five survivors and five survivors, invited a stranger into this church to pray with them. The word of God was pierced by bullets and hate, of rage, propelled by not just gunpowder, but by a poison. Poison that has for too long haunted this nation. What is that poison? White supremacy. Oh, it is. It's a poison throughout our history. It's ripped this nation apart. It says no place in America. Not today, tomorrow, or ever. Well, powerful words there from the president. We're continuing our team coverage now with our own News 19's Becky Buds, who's live in Charleston with more and the uh, reaction from people on the street as the president visited the Low Country today. Becky? Well, Andrea, as you just heard, President Biden's speech touched on democracy, political freedoms, and the threat of political violence and extremism across the country. And it resonated with voters I spoke with today who say they strongly support a second term for the president. I know who I'm voting for. <laughs> I'm voting for Joe Biden in November. Hundreds of President Biden's supporters gathered in Charleston on Monday to hear him speak at Mother Emanuel AME Church, a place that witnessed a horrific hate crime in 2015 when a white supremacist massacred nine worshipers. And I was excited about being here today because uh, President Biden has done as much as he could possibly do with executive order. Um, I'm hoping that during this election he will be reelected and uh, have some folk elected who will be able to help him to uh, change some laws and improve some things, especially with gun violence. Survivors and the families of the victims of the shooting, clergy and interfaith leaders, and Congressman Jim Clyburn were all in attendance. State Representative J.A. Moore's sister was among those killed. Uh, the history of uh, Mother Emanuel way before uh, that tragic night on June 17, 2015. I'm talking about the history of liberty and justice and the fight for freedom. Uh, and we have a, a presidential candidate on the other side and, and Donald Trump, uh, who's doing everything in his power to, to erase the progress that's been made uh, for generations. Biden's visit comes less than a month before South Carolina kicks off the Democratic primary season. The Palmetto State played a pivotal role in making him the Democratic nominee nearly four years ago. Biden supporter Leslie Bracken says this election won't be any different. Oh, it's going to be great. I mean, he's going to walk away from here with a nice landslide and it'll get him set up to do the next states that he has to do. Timothy Lewis from Harleyville highlighted what he feels are the positive effects of Biden's policies, including infrastructure like high-speed Internet. I was on DSL. Uh, up until less than 60 days ago. But because of Joe Biden and, and uh, Clyburn, we have internet access. So when he talks about these, this stuff is happening. Democratic State Senator Dion Tedder says he believes the Biden-Harris campaign needs to do more to message this to their voters to try and gain an advantage. This infrastructure plan, um, the Justice 40 Act, I mean, that's huge for disadvantaged communities. And so I think they have to do a better job at messaging that, really just telling the story of the things they've accomplished. Vice President Kamala Harris returns to South Carolina next week as the featured speaker of the NAACP's annual King Day at the Dome event. Reporting live in Charleston, Becky Buds, News 19 WLTX.